Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you in the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. This is episode 141. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. This was such a special guest that we had to bring him back two weeks later. We had a pen in the situation that we are about to pull, but first, reintroduce yourself to the audience. Original. No, I'm going first this time, nigga. You went first last time, nigga. Boy, that's the energy. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bridging the Gap Podcast's very own Big Dan, you know what I'm saying? The political Paul himself in the building. Let's get it. That nigga Paul. That nigga Paul. That's the fucker. That's the fucker. Yeah, you want to introduce yourself before you get the point? And then you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uncle Face, the vibe provided the mood of Shucker. Let's get to it. Mm-hmm. Uncle B here from Bridging the Gap Podcast, a.k.a. the drunken one. The drunken motherfucking <laughs> uncle is back, baby. I'm yes. noticing a pattern is whoever goes last, those they sexy on this is the drunken uncle. <laughs> <laughs> drunken uncle. <laughs> All right. So uh, if you listen to episode 139, again, these are my guys. I can't tell you how many times I had them on and they had me on. Uh so so good once we had to do it twice. So now Face was making a statement at the end of episode 139. Oh. We were putting a pin into that one. Let's pull it right now to start off 141. Let's go, Face. I mean, all I really, really wanted to ask is have you ever had to wear anything from the lost and found in school? <laughs> what the uh, we appreciate we appreciate the anticipation <laughs> that y'all came back two weeks later to hear that one. That would be a no <laughs> for me. Dan, yourself. Yeah, we 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 was the film, Ben. We no, was. I, I think our last That's one was um, the, um, therapy and shit like that. We <laughs> shout out somebody to talk to and all that. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to Uncle Face, man. When I be having bad days, man, for some odd reason, he gives me a call and he changed my whole demeanor of my day. That's he crazy because him. he he just told me you've been hating on him the last couple times you talked to him. Yeah, but you know I don't I don't give out I don't get that shit out. But he calls when he calls, cause and check up on me, man. In the morning, like it'd be like six thirty in the morning, seven o'clock. Hey, that's the, I, uh, might, I might be in. I might be making a whole delivery, but I stopped that shit. Listen to what he got to say, cause and that changed my whole day, man. I appreciate you, brother. I do appreciate. You. I appreciate it. You know, the important, the important thing here was to find out though. Have you worn anything from the Lost and Found band? Was what? <laughs> well, when we was kids, yeah, oh, you know, the funny one. Yeah, well, I, I could never wear nothing face because I was a one. I was the fat kid. I was the biggest kid in the school. Copy that. I was stern. I was so big that was too big for the school, so they bumped me up to to Harden. I ain't even finished that. I was just that fat. So, yeah, nothing in there was going to fit me at all. I just want to know. <laughs> look at that. Face, you want to answer your own question. Lost and found situation. Bob look like he's floating out there. Are you floating? Are you high? Are you uh-huh. floating? He look like he's floating. Look, he look like he's floating. <laughs> oh. See, this, the reason I asked the question, because like Onk said, like I called probably one of them every day asked him some crazy shit. So one morning I called political Paul here and I said, yo, have you ever had to wear something out of the lost and family in school? And he was like, fuck no. Like, no. And I found that like to be like really, really crazy because coming from a nigga like myself, like I, a couple times I had to well, that's because you've been a small enough what nigga do you to mean? fit somebody why else's would you, shit. As a, thick, as a big nigga, if the joint wasn't a 4X, then I wasn't getting in it. So big <laughs> is, uh, I don't <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, no, no. Hey, hey, that ain't had nothing to do with my motherfucking answer. My nigga, my, <laughs> my, my father was around. I'm sorry. Hey, yo, dad. <laughs> I lost so-and-so. I, I yeah. And he's bringing a coat. How do you wear something at an awesome family? You're in school, and you want to... Didn't have a shirt, or you misplaced <laughs> your shirt. 
It and you had to go to Los Angeles that day. Why are right, you hey, losing y'all. your clothes at school, my nigga? <laughs> All right, wait, wait, wait. We're not about to do 20 minutes on the Lost and Found, Ben, y'all. Let's move on. <laughs> now, this ties back to episode 138. Shouts out to my man, Nutmeg Nah. You know what I'm saying? Life be life in podcast. Oh, nutmeg Nah. Hit him with the nutmeg. Nah, man, nutmeg Nah. <laughs> he was actually on episode 140 last week, too. We appreciate y'all hitting the button. Now, tell me this. This was a good one. I know Dan is going to love this one. What do black men need? Oh, let me go first. Mm. Go ahead, <laughs> a white woman. Okay, copy that. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I heard that, sisters. Nah, 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 nah. I'm only fucking with you. I'm Those DMs gonna... are at Uncle B. Nah, we're too black. Nah, we're too black. Does not reflect the comments of the Bridge and the Gap podcast. <laughs> yeah, send all that to that. All that goes to there. Yeah, send all that drama to there. But no, nah, what do a black man need? Yes. Well, mm-hmm. me being single, living alone, um, I need my house to be comfortable when I come home. I don't have nobody to greet me at the door or give me a hug, ask me how is my day. Um, before I leave out my house, I make sure it's nice and well. I try to do that before I go to bed, but um, throughout the day, stress. You know, I'm kind of top dog at work, so I answer a lot of questions, solve a lot of problems, and I'm tired when I come home. In my mind, just me sitting in my chair and watching the news when I get home. I mean that. After you do that, why would you want to watch that depressing shit? Well, I want to know what's going on outside. <laughs> gotta be aware of your surroundings, yeah. Nigga. Gotta you be aware where not to go. Old, nigga. You gotta know what's going on. <laughs> gotta know, yeah. I haven't watched the news in over a fucking decade. Well, you don't need to because you're not. You're not you might not be in the trenches. I'm out here. When I walk out my listen, when I walk out my house, I gotta look both ways before I actually hit the so- the what sidewalk. Do- Need black men, need hard working black married men, or just normal men just need a good support system. Somebody to that's what Uncle's saying. Yeah, you know, he said something about cleaning the house. No, I <laughs> said so, you know, house. So what I need. This is what I need. This is hold what up. I need. What he, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What he said was. When I come home after being dealing with all of this shit all day, you need I need, I need to come I need to come home and have a comfort zone. I need to come home to be able to relax, to sit in my chair and no shit is cool around here. Like that's what he's saying. That's the my same thing that you <laughs> Yeah, but you can have, you can have that. That doesn't have nothing to do with having a strong partner. You can have that. I can have a, a comfortable setting and all that waiting for me on my own. And I, I, don't need one of I that. told you and I said and I said to y'all. I am a single black man. I don't have none of that. What y'all have? Well, I don't have that. What you need is a wife. That's the- <laughs> no, I, no, I don't. No, I don't. Most, I mean, is she's going to give me? Am I going to come home to that piece? If you marry the right one, yeah. I mean, if I marry the right one, but right now, that's I don't Talk have about that right it, now. King. Talk but about I'm, it. But what I'm saying is, I don't have that right now. He asked Copy, what do so I, I was with you on. I can't say I need a woman to come here. She might not be the right one. But right now, what I need right now is to, when, to come home and have my house comfortable. For when I come home, all I got to do is kick my shoes off, sit down, and watch if, TV in peace. You give a good woman a canvas, a free blank canvas, she will make it a home for you. Right. So hopefully, when I the get right, there, when the I right. get there, when I get there, Hopefully that's what it is. And now, if it ain't, I'm peaceful by myself. Mm. Now, I'm out of 10, you know, you, I mean, come on. I don't Who's see say can ever be peaceful by themselves. You need a mate to grow seeds with, create moments, and all of that good you, stuff. Well, no, that, but that's not, your, your peace can be with yourself. That's fine. Now, you didn't say I was completed. He didn't Your say like girl. he didn't say like I felt fulfilled. He just said he was peaceful, peaceful and oh, fulfillment. But two the things that was answered was what do what do men need? Men That's need a peace. good men need peace. You want it? What you want? Peace or a good woman? 
my wife wanna... is my wife. My wife is my wife because I, she provides me with that peace. Yes, <laughs> right. If she did not provide that, that, she would not be my wife. Copy. Big right. fella. I don't have that. I don't have that yet. I don't have that yet. So I can't. I can't. You know what I'm saying? When I get that you and realize ain't... I got that, then okay. I, 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 my answer would be people. different. Huh? You ain't find it in the white woman neither. I'm going to find it in the sister. Know. Hopefully, oh. never <laughs> me. Go ahead, big fella. Come on. Let's go cook you one of them good comfort meals and take your socks off and rub your feet and all hey, that. Don't exact... Hey, oh, I'm telling him she knows exactly where the Uber Eats spot is at. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. You ain't had no good fried chicken. <laughs> I just told you go I ahead. went around the corner and got some. No, no, man. Come on, big fella, let's go. What you, what you got for us? Every black man needs a strong, patient, empathetic, and unwavering black woman. That's what every black man needs. What we Period. gonna get that at, like Bob? Listen to that answer on episode one thirty eight. Where do they sell that at, Bob? They, that's the problem. Here's that's that's your problem, right like there. You look, <laughs> you still looking to buy. It. Well, where they at? You ain't buying you yours? Buy. They not around the corner. All right? You look well, at... You see, here's the problem. You not looking for some... You, you, your, your problem is you still looking for somebody that needs you. You need to find a strong well, woman that don't need you that compliments I lost them. I, I wish I had mine from high school. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for all. You oh, did already had yours a long time ago. Hey, listen, brother, I've been eating the same chicken for 17 years. I'm fulfilled. Yeah. I gotta <laughs> I, get there. I, it's peace over here. That's what's up. I got to get there. You know what I'm saying? It's peace over here. I tell, I, I, I've said it on many episodes, on many of other podcasts, including this one. My, so wife what's the best? my wife elevated my life of living. My life, My wife gave me a purpose. Hello. Let's talk this about is, it. You're right. lucky, you're lucky, you're lucky, this is one thing I would say, Dan, if you will allow me, because I don't mention nobody's wife without them, you know what I'm saying, okay in the situation. Mm -hmm. and Dan, at the first live show, when we were on stage, his wife had his food already wrapped up in foil and all that. Niggas and he had food. I said, Dan, I can let these niggas eat my food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my cousins, I'm going to be hungry. My cousins had already dicked the shit that I ate. Dan, wife had foil on go. So, yeah, man. Man. Support system. Yeah, man. But man, yeah, that's um, right. That's yeah, the damn name. really, really he man household. He's real like he's like really like he really like runs shit. Like I watch it. I sit back and watch. It's like really like barbaric. Like he damn, comes in. Why I gotta be barbaric, cuz huh? you the lumber damn, man. Damn, me and you we <laughs> here, that? brother. Don't listen, don't listen to that negativity. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of yeah, man. It's kind of like that's the problem with this woke society. When you living in the <laughs> when you living in traditional roles, now we barbaric. I ain't we barbaric because yeah, we live in traditional roles that's here. Said, bro, don't 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 fall for that goofy shit. <laughs> All right, now here we go. What's the thing that you sparing no expense on? Face. We starting definitely with you. What are oh. you sparing no expense on? Oh, Cheers. well, let me think Cheers. about. Um, uh, <laughs> Look uh, at the picture uh, in the background of the house. Uh, Look at the picture man, in the background my, of the hey, studio, man, brother. For those who, are on, those who are on the audio platforms, let my man answer this joint for himself. So we have what we to answer my question is sneakers, and what we have here. This is not like a big goal of mine, but one of my goals of mine is to own every pair of sneaker that's on this poster here, and I'm like. He has his two favorite things in the frame. Sneakers and fucking plants. For those of you that don't know now, this nigga is, has a jungle on his fucking deck, pretty much, too. Yeah, sneakers bought, and plants. I bought, like, <laughs> green, eat green thumb ball these days. Copy that. Oh, real shit? Oh, oh, God. He didn't give my wife a couple plants. Well, see, the whole thing is people don't understand there's going to come a point where uh, you're going to have to live on the land. You're yes, going to you have to live off what you produce. And my plan is already in place. Danny's going to hunt, and I'm going to provide the vegetables, and we're going to live, and <laughs> yes. we're going to be good. But that's that's what this... Not to get too deep, but yeah, that's... That's for, another, that's for another episode. Is yeah. you really prepared? Who's really yeah. prepared? Right. Come so, on, Oak. What you sparing no expense on, Oak? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. 
I'm going to cheat bull. Um, You're going to give 45 to this situation and not 40. Come on, now. <laughs> what I spared on Spencer on? I know that. I don't even have, go ahead. What's the answer? I don't even have an answer for that one. Cigarettes. No, nah, twelve dollars is too much for me. No Newports, B. You said twelve. You said cigarettes. Yeah, All most right. of them is eleven. I walked away out of the <laughs> store. Yeah, twelve dollars too much. Your car. Female, uh, female, female company. <laughs> 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 All right, come on, Dan. You get you get yeah, something, that, yeah. Something like Don't, that. Don't ain't got nothing for me. Come on, Dan. What you sparing no expense on? Home protection, home and self protection. In, in other words, the Second Amendment. Firearms. Yeah. I will spend no expense. Mine is vacation. I ain't sparing no expense for the vacation. The opportunity to relax and get away from these goddamn kids. If this is with what's the situation, what is the bag? If we got it, if we make it happen. We will find a way to make it happen. Vacations definitely where we're sparing no expenses. You want to know what's crazy though? Go you ahead. know what I Go found ahead. about vacations? Sometimes you have some of the funner vacations when it just be one of them cheap spur of the moment Jones. Like, oh, let's just go down here because I found some a cheap flight down the end saying let's you know what I mean? The 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 the, the, the sometimes the extravagant Jones don't always go as planned. A little cheap random quick Jones, I'll be having a time, boy. Nah, I got a couple of drinks. I need to put you on there. <laughs> um, all right, TV. I can get a pair. I can get a passport now, so I can I can travel. <laughs> Let's I go. Know you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, off mic conversation. TV. Dan has on the Yellowstone hat. You know what I'm saying? Dutton Ranch. <laughs> um, Dutton. You know what I mean? I, take I you to the motherfucking joint. train station, nigga. <laughs> yeah, you copy that. You tell them let Rip take you to the train station. It won't end well. Um. <laughs> TV right now. What are we watching on TV? What's our go-to joint right now? Go ahead, Dan. We already started off with you. Is it Yellowstone? Uh, so those of you that watch Yellowstone know that I don't know what happened with the show, but it, it's supposed to be coming back November of this year. But Yellowstone is in my top in my top threes. In my top three, I got Yellowstone. I'm gonna go BMF just because that's what's on right now. Um. And ain't really much else on right now that's captivating, man. Like it ain't. It, 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 I mean, it ain't too many other shows right now that's real captivating me. Like it don't. It don't. I, I, I'm a heavy TV boy, and I, it ain't really much out there. You know what I mean? The writer strike situation kind of did that to you. Yeah. Uncle, uh, Uncle Ben, come on. What we got? Um, what's my go-to? I think I got four. I got uh, Chicago PD. Nine one one, nine one one is a good drone. Nine one SWAT, you know SWAT yeah, with yeah. the ball, uh, what's the ball here ball name Black Ball. Jamal Moore, Jamal Moore, with him yeah, and um, BMF. But you know I don't those three that I said that I mentioned nine one one, SWAT, and Chicago PD. I could start from from. Series one and watch it over and over again. I can't do that with BMF. I tried that with Power, but it just didn't work out. But yeah, those are my three. Nine one one and them. Come on, face. Um, anything Candace on anything Andrew Tate. Uh, uh BMF and. That's it. <laughs> who, who is what's your, what's your top three right now, Hype? Candace Owens and Andrew Tate. Break who? What are the shows that these people are running for the folks? Oh, it's not really a show. You just go to YouTube and type in their name, and I just watch different interviews and different topics and what they're talking about. Um, so BMF Candace, is the only joint that you that you into then right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, just, just yeah, yeah. BMF. That's it. Can I ask a question real quick, Hank? Oh yeah, bro. So, me and Face, we 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 was talking about being enough earlier today, actually, and we came up with a question that we was throwing around. You you heavy TV? We was talking about the top three female gangsters in the sh in shows. Because sure, you know, Shorty on BMF, you know, she giving it up to uh, you know, 
homegirl with the with the sword or whatever with the little cane Jackson or whatever. daughter uh -oh. <laughs> right, right right so we we we, we were still but these, these are names that we threw out there that we had in the mix snoop from the wire she gotta be number one mm. Mm. i mean but how, okay are you we were go ahead go ahead go ahead who you we had cleo, we had cleo on there cleo was not on a tv right. show cleo was in a movie though we were just talking about in general, okay, not, not just, right, just in general. I thought we were just going TV. No, okay. and then I brought up Keisha from uh, fucking um, Keisha from fucking New Jack City, Rock a Bye Baby. Like, I think I might. I, you might have to. You might have to go Monet Tejada on this list now. You could throw. I mean, she 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 got got we got to throw Rock Bobby Bobby on there. there. We got the rock on there from Raven Cannon. I mean, copy. Then we might have to throw rock on there too. You know what I'm saying? See, the, see, the problem with these situations is now that we revision this history in it, and now we have a lot of uh, like Braxton's daughter, and like we got a whole lot of females involved into the situation that wasn't right. what we were ever portraying in those days. So, Face brought up a great point. He brought up body count and creativity. And then when we, that's how we kind of lean towards Snoop because Snoop has to be, Snoop, yeah, Snoop has to she be. Kill half, she killed half of Baltimore plus that's some New York says. niggas. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fucking Yankee pride at now, nigga. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and put niggas in the motherfucking, in, it was boring niggas up in houses. You can't get much more creative than that. <laughs> I'm trying to think, uh, she wasn't really like she was. She was just gangster as hell, but she ain't had no bodies under her account. Uh, Brianna Barksdale, Avon's sister. She had no bodies though. Oh no, uh, I should not really throw her into. Yeah, the mix. she didn't have. I said she didn't have no bodies, but she, she was all the way in with the situation. I mean, we gotta put Lulu in there then from fucking Snowfall. I uh, see. She the snowfall situation was killing me with Brianna because Sissy Saint fucked up, fucked up the church's money. Yeah. <laughs> <Didn't she? laughs> my man, what? two more sec two more seconds. My man Franklin ain't a smoker right now. Um, Queen of the South was the best. See, Queen of the South was one of my favorite shows. So yeah, even she then, was the most gangster South, girl around. It's not even her. It's Camilla. It's not even to to Camilla. Yeah, Camilla. Camilla. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Snoop Camilla. And mm -hmm. we can go with Rock. I go with Rock over Mary J. Or Monet. Mm, can you imagine if Rock and Monet like met at some point and started doing business together? <laughs> mm. Tariq will fuck that all up like he does everything. Um, <laughs> now. Um, the last season of that coming up too. They only doing one more season of that power. Yeah, they breaking it down into two parts on some goofy shit. I saw that. Now. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get into this next segment. Since we're talking sneakers and all of that, we're sponsored by Custom Hustle. That is at Custom Hustle World on Instagram only. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Uh, we do custom jerseys, custom jackets, custom sneakers. Four versions of the CH1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s. CH5s will be available and coming soon. Uh, we got the barber capes. We got the collar shirts. We got the shorts. We got the sweatsuits. However you need it, I'm saying black and white situation on the day for you. Uh, however you need it, we customizing it over there at Custom Hustle World on Instagram. is Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Everything is available in every color and any color that you can put together. So you just let us know what you need and we'll customize it and have those situations all the way tight for you. Now, Uncle Face. Your man Kanye. <laughs> we haven't had any Kanye thoughts from you in quite some time. Just throwing out a broad joint, Kanye. What are, what are we thinking? What are we, you know what I'm saying? What's going on with your guy? I'm not thinking. You're not thinking. Copy that. How do you like his new music? His new song. He got a song out. How do you like it? I didn't know he had a song though. <clears throat> I've I've been listening to Japanese jazz. Copy that. <laughs> we ain't been pying lately. This nigga's whole taste in life is just different now. I'm glad to hear. I was over life on those kind so of since, albums. So since uh, how do you feel? <laughs> Hold on one second. You're Go a shoe ahead. guy. How you feel about Trump sneakers? Chill. I got you. You you yeah. step you you step you stepping all over me. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm watching. I'm watching Fox one day. I see uh, my man come up. Whole government on the screen. <laughs> and they're asking this guy about those Air Trumps and how does he feel about all of that? It was the big fellow from the BGG podcast, Big Dan. So talk to us 
about then you down there. I know you like your political situations and all of that. You're down there, and a Trump rally breaks out. Talk to us, big fella. So we walk. So here's the thing: we walk into the venue. First of all, anybody that know me that know know I I'm the last person that would be at a sneaker convention. Convention. I went for the vibes with my man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My nigga face, that's his thing. I went with the vibes with him. Nigga, we walk in there and the first mind you have well, you 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 you've worked down there at the convention center before. So we walk in and it's not regular convention center security. You know what I'm saying? It's the secret fucking service. So now we I'm like, what the fuck is going on? All right, we get in that bitch. They got a podium set up, they got fucking a QR code for niggas to scan and they got these ugly ass fucking gold sneakers <laughs> up there and they the fucking Trumps. So now we, me and Face, we going back and forth. I'm like, there's no way Trump is pulling up to the sneaker convention. We walking around and who the fuck comes up to the stage? The fucking former fucking president of America, Donald fucking Trump. Nigga. Yeah. At the sneaker convention, selling the never sur. First of all, they're called the never surrenders. <laughs> <laughs> the never surrender ones. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm standing there. <laughs> I'm watching this all unfold, and then, lo and behold, Fox News cameraman right behind me. I turn around. He like Mike right into the face. So, what are your thoughts? <laughs> and you know. I get they don't. I knew they only was gonna put a little little piece on there, but I gave them a piece of my mind. You know, why? What is this? Is this you in Philadelphia? You know what I'm saying you running for president again? Let's talk about the issues, Trump. Why are we promoting the Trump ones, mind you? And he's down there the day after he got uh, hit up uh, for all that bread. I got 500 to come up with, nigga. That's why I got these prototypes. <laughs> I'm he got here for all that bread, and the next day you had sneaker con. And here's the thing. The, the crazy shit is the media really was fucking promoting him on some, oh, no, he's smart politically. He knows black people like sneakers. They said that on the fucking news, dog. Sneakers are reselling for, selling for right now? Them Jones is reselling for 10 grand and up right now, and that shit is crazy. I get that nigga was prior to make them gold, make them shiny. <laughs> They're going to love them. We're going to sell out. And sure enough, he sold the fuck out, dog. And that shit don't is crazy. Go out to like November wow. or some shit. Too. Meanwhile, you, well, you in the city where we got the real life wire hamster dam going on. Oh, um, I do got one You're thing. Crazy. Sorry to cut you off. Hi, back to you. You would appreciate this. I do got one thing to say about Kanye. Um, so he went through all of that shit where, like, they banned him. He couldn't get money with Adidas. So he makes this Yeezy brand shit, and he puts everything on his own website, and he sells it for $20. And every time he does it, he sells off. Everything is $20. It could be a shirt. Yeah, but everybody complaining about their merchandise, too. Doesn't, doesn't matter. You bought it. Every person around the world, you do the math. And it's all coming to you. I mean, shit. If it only if it's only a dub, you can't be complaining too bad about the quality. It was a dub. What did you expect? Yeah. <laughs> um, now, last segment of the show before we close episode one forty one out is get is uh what do we need to know? Sponsored by H two H Cleaning. That's at H two H Cleaning on Instagram only. Uh, cleanups, cleanouts, your roofing, plumbing, flooring, HVAC situations. However, you need those situations, and we got ties to it all. Just hit us up and let us know how we can help because we're here to help at H two H Cleaning only. Now. Y'all, what do we need to know? BTG, what are we doing? Are we getting back in the booth? This is what episode, these last two episodes were solely about me trying to get y'all to scratch that itch. I think, like I said in the beginning of episode 139, y'all, we need y'all back out there. Y'all are what the game has been missing. We need you, we need these voices back up. We need these opinions back up. We need you long form in these situations. Y'all got to figure out how to make this shit happen. So tell us what it is that we need to know before we close out episode 141. Uncle B, you started off. We just got to put our heads together, man. And, um, you know, get everything started. You know what I mean? I'm I'm basically the really the reason why, because I was out there a few years ago, but, oh, you cool. know, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got, a, you know, caught a little flat tire with my, 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 with my health and everything. So um, I'm glad they've just been, you know, 
waiting patiently for me to get myself back in order to, um, you know, hit the streets again. You know what I mean? Um, but I've been, you know, progressing in my health. You know, I feel better than I did before. You know what I mean? So I'm ready. You know? Face. Um, so. Can I, you know I'm doing something? Face. Come on, no, we need to know. You can't whoop ass on a podcast. Uh, oh, stop. I know he's distracting me. He's sitting right here in front. That's why we was ignoring. That's why we was. We was ignoring that. We was moving on. Face, talk to us. What do we need to know? I just chastising. We ain't gonna do that. I just want to say I'm leaving the group. It's like no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Otis. You ain't doing that, Otis. Like no, no. Me and Bob been working behind the scenes to kind of come up with something new, new visual, just like something different on our whole, just like everyday kicking it type of relationship questions type shit. So we came up with this drone BTG by the water. We gonna be trying to try to shoot our first pilot episode probably in the next couple weeks. Um, this got Unk back liking it, so we'll see how we gonna try to contribute Unk into the whole technical zoom thing so he can be there so we just kind of like in the stage of working shit out right to give it a different vibe for pop mr dutton hey man you know it's like on <laughs> said, you know um on, on court a flat tire on us you know what i'm saying and me and face we tried to do a, a, a duo thing and it just didn't the vibe wasn't the same without Unk being there. So rather than trying to force something and put out some bad content, you know, we we kind of put it to the side. But like they said, me and him go fishing a lot. You know what I mean? And um, when we down there, we just have great fucking conversations that we all, whenever me and him actually get together, we always, you know, we do our thing. We And we always say, damn, it'd be dope if we had that recorded. Because we have like some real funny ass great fucking conversations. And, you know, like he said, we're trying to just figure it out and figure out a way that we how we can incorporate Onk. Because Onk said that he's down for the Zoom. But in, in my in my opinion and our, in our, my experience, is just the magic happens when we all together in the same room and we, we vibing off each other. And I, I don't think it'll be, you know, we're going to try it out, see what it works. But I just think we got to get, I think we need, I don't know, maybe be a fucking location. You know what I mean? <laughs> Really nigga, get out the house, nigga. That's what you need to do, nigga. You need to just get out the fucking house. Get out the dungeon. You need to change your scenery. <laughs> it's just too comfortable. But I, I will. I come out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out now. I think what's gonna happen, hype. I think Unk gonna see see me and Face put out an episode, and then he's just gonna be like, "Oh, that's fucked up." <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> he gonna he gonna pop in over there, and then he'll be, then he'll be back in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I if that's yeah. what it takes to if that's what it takes to get the situation happening, get out there, polls out. <laughs> and, uh, it's coming. It's, it's coming. The gang did not break up. You know what I'm saying? It's just niggas niggas took a, a horizontal life pause. We just took a life pause. That's it. We coming back. We coming back stronger than another. You know what I mean? Or oh, a lot a lot of shit is going on. We 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 coming back. You know what I mean, shout out to my nigga Hank for you know. Making us, you know, get the dust off it, you know. I'm hype. I want to pot again. I want to. I'm. Oh, uh, I, 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 nah, nigga, on some real shit. I got my juices flowing, pause. That was the whole. <laughs> that was the whole purpose of doing these two episodes, y'all. Y'all already know. If you need me, I'm there. That's episode right. 141. Y'all appreciate y'all hitting the button. We are out. I am hype. That's H Y M P E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up.